Hello everyone, Mephone and Son of Beast here, along with the commentators, as the NBA playoffs continues on 2K Sports. Now it's time for the conference semifinals in a second round of Eastern and Western Conference. It's next after this. What's up folks, Son of Beast here. We are back for another NBA playoffs as we're about to do the next matchup. It's the Memphis Grizzlies facing against the Golden State Warriors for the rematch. This time, now they're playing at Chase Center for Game 3 and 4. Standing by for me, we have is Test Tube and Mephone that will be doing our broadcast here for today for the commentators as well. And stick around later, we will have the Celtics and the Bucks as I will be uh, commentating with the other players that will be here for the commentating as well. Me, OJ, and of course, the ultimate one that I have going for is Clover. Yeah, you'll be seeing uh, this later game. It'll be coming up later after this game. So make sure you tune in onto my channel. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel because we're going to have tons of more NBA playoffs along with the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs as well. A new episode will be releasing here at the end of May, so thank you for your patience. We're very sorry for inconvenience. We've got a lot of stuff that we have been filming here. So much, but I had to uh, make a progress. But enough of that one here. Let's get going here to the Chase Center to start Game 3. Guys, Meat Phone and Test Tube, it's all yours. Enjoy the game. Greetings, folks, from here at the Golden State of the California. As for me and Test Tube are here along here for Game Three of the Grizzlies and Warriors, and it's time to get right into the game. I'm glad you could join us here for today. And stepping along with me and Test Tube is Ali LaForce here for the sideline. And we got some a lot of great average here. We're looking for a chance. Who's going to take the lead here for two one? Now it's Ali. Well, last season, Stephen Curry set the Warriors franchise record for scoring passing Wilt Chamberlain. Steph said, quote, anytime you hear his name, it's daunting. You understand how great he was. But rather than reflect, Curry said it's more productive to stay in the moment and look forward to what else I want to accomplish. Brian? Ali, what a great story that line. Thank you. I'm pretty excited to see who is going to be able to uh, try to uh, get more higher average of this score. So the key matchup is in between Ja Morant and Stephen Curry here in a point guarding position. We also have another uh, lineup that we have in, in, in front. And you can see Steve Kerr is the head coach here for the Golden State Warriors. And Taylor Jenkins is the head coach for the Memphis Grizzlies. The ball is ready to go for the tip. He goes up. And Memphis wins it off here as we set things up in Game 3, all fueled up and ready to go. For the starting lineup for the Memphis, we have his Bain. Brooks here for the shooting guard. Jaron Jackson Jr. delivering the point forward. Steven Adams here in center. And Ja Morant in point guard. The only thing that recognizes me the most here, that Steven Adams has definitely played with the OKC Finders here for a couple of seasons before he was transferred to the other team. I noticed this one, this guy is definitely a huge fan favorite here to play with the uh, with the OKC Finders with the crew here. They got some another average out there. I'd like to see what he can definitely do, if he can definitely try to do things on over and over again. Stephen Curry definitely got a great two buckets here for this one. Ja Morant around Wiggins. That will be a second bucket here for Ja Morant. Their team is actually picking up their pace here since the win in the last game here back in Memphis from game number two. As for those teams, they got some greater higher average of the skills that they've gone for. Three pointer delivers up for Clay Thompson. Clay Thompson got a nice struggle hand motion out there. 
It looks like they're gonna go big. Jackson Jr. on Wiggins. On John Morant. That goes with a drive. This one gets up by one. They're doing it all over again. In between the uh, zone out the attacks. Sometimes it was uh, it was more than tricky enough to try to make them pay for it. Three for Thompson. Two streaks of the three-pointers is good. He has six points. Now their team is up by eight. 3.15 left to go here in the first period of the game three. And it's a stolen ball by Draymond Green. Draymond Green got a good steal out there. He might be going for, uh, for a second time if he wants to give it another one. He wants to give it a try. Wiggins back to Poole. Poole. Backing up as Thompson. Five to shoot. Curry for three. Good on the triple. Now it's his turn to make a three. And extended three into a five point lead. Now you're talking. The two dynamic duos are the best Clay Thompson and Stephen Curry. Bane on pool. Jackson Jr. over Curry. This one carries out for the rebound for Stephen Curry. He has his first rebound of the game. Curry up to green. On Adams. Inside now is Thompson. He's got it close to her in the free throw line. Back to Curry. Bucket six. Poole. Over to Brooks. First bucket for Poole is no good. First rebound is definitely turning in to be a heavy attacking in range. That may be a tough one to get right by them. Morant on Poole. Goes inside. Makes a drive and feed. This one goes back to cut down by three. They're doing it all over again. Sometimes the players really got some higher average here. They might have to hydrate themselves before they can get into the game. Don't have enough water? Well, you're going to be injured here. So that will be a bad timing. Thompson backing over his pool. Six to shoot. Up in the elbow. Two-pointer. It carries up and deflected away by Steven Adams' rebound. Brooks watching on Clay Thompson. Bain on pool. Looking for a chance to take the steal here. Now he dish off to Adams. Over Wiggins. First rebound gives it up for Clay Thompson. Another miss by Memphis. They got a good hustle here for the uh, defenders here. Most of the time, it, it, it may be a lot of a sorting problem that could be a very uh, difficult range. Now, most of the time, I think the players are having a trouble to get their shots eye on a goal. Wiggins up. He's fouled and almost made a shot in there. And the first foul is given up here on Jaron Jackson Jr. That will be their first team foul, his first personal. Andrew Wiggins got a good heavy contest to that shot. Looking over it and making it over the shot. Well, that foul was definitely going to be an easy call for that. Because it, it definitely does have more uh, aggression to go back in the offense. Because whenever you're going to start the top, you're going to find out that you might be out of uh, out of range. You could be going off any off targets. Wiggins hits the first free throw. Andrew Wiggins definitely got some great uh, pressures. They got to keep an eye on that one for sure. New substitutions are coming in for Memphis Grizzlies and for the Golden State Warriors. Poole, Thompson, and Green are checked out. As Peyton, Kuminga, and Looney are checked in. The second free throw for Wiggins is good. He's got his first bucket in the game. It's 13-8 run. Memphis trail by five. Jones spin around Curry. Finds Melton. Melton in the attack. Taking a two is no problem here. And they're down by three. They're going all over the place. They wanted to keep the scoring range. They want to make it closer. Bait it outside. Back to Curry. Now he moves over to Wiggins. Just 20 seconds to shoot. And a game clock. Pocket six. Curry inside. Step off in. Two-pointers good for Stephen Curry. He's got his first two-pointer. And it now goes back to five-point lead for the Warriors. Jones on Curry, swaffles around a bit, eyes over Clark, 
Back to Conchar for three, and it goes off the target. Curry will be ending it here for the first quarter. It's 15 to 10. What a great matchup. It might be a good one. If the Warriors can take the lead here, we might have to stand out. And we'll be right back with the second quarter when we come back. Uh, probably be more of a backline help. Um, talk more, give more help for the rotations because, you know, depending on what team you play, there's a lot of specific things you got to do to guard a certain player. Defensive responsibility gives him up a great chance here for Jaron Jackson Jr. He knows he can just try to like keep an eye on him, but um, he has more coverage than he can date. And the foul start off with a second period. It's on Conchar, his first second team foul. They're racing it up here for the fouls here as Stephen Curry is looking for his drive right now. And he hasn't made this uh, go for game three in round two. Yeah, that's the problem out there. It looks like Stephen Curry was going to try to make it down on the, on the clock. I don't know what to say about him, but uh, he, he can be a very uh, tough man to try to work our way around. Curry knocks down the first free throw. And if you've seen Holy Moly, it's on tonight. We have seen some amazing uh, golfers, including this professional uh, pro, uh, pro athlete, also on the commercial stew of Subway. He's also in here, got some many ones, and CarMax, too. Yeah, we would love to see him to be on the commercial. It looks like uh, he's got a lot of franchise players here. I think everybody's going to love him so far. Now here's Anderson. He gives it off to Clark. Looting on the cover with just 4.45 to go. This is back to Anderson. Screen on Clark. Two-pointer coming up, and that's another miss by Memphis. Looney gives it off to Curry. Curry right to Looney. Looney just off to Kaminga. Shoots from the box. That goes off target, and Looney takes a rebound. Saving rebounds can definitely uh, put them on your better track. Being outside, five to shoot. Right inside, rebound by Looney, two in a row. Now Peyton will try one. The three baller is good for the Warriors. And that was a first assist going in. That turned out to be one of the number. A better chance out there because Kamingo really could find a, a strength here. They can count on it. Oh, the growling of the buckets of stunk was putting up a, a huge successful run on Melton. Curry, this is back to Kamingo. Now he gets off to Porter. Porter has his first assist here, now he gives up to Curry. Three-pointer outside, that's a good carry feed. Curry gets 12 points, and it's Carter with Porter with the assist. Two in a row, another Curry three-pointer step back. He now does it. Nice defender, and off the target it goes here. They missed the dunk with the rebound. Oh boy, I, I, I'm definitely telling you because that was a very hard, uh, hard decision to make. And this one goes out of control. Wrong way for Peyton. This one turns to be a backcourt violation. Now the Grizzlies will have to take time out here with 3.08 to go. New changes are making those changes here. Jackson Jr., Morant, and the other two players checked in, along with the Warriors here too. This one was definitely my favorite part. Do you know what the step back? Because, of, um, however, it does um, turn out to be one of the best uh, three-pointers to highlight this game. Well, I might tell you that one. In, in just uh, in just a bit, a uh, moment that you can tell about the uh, players, how well they played, they trained, they worked really hard, they have it all down here on the board. But for our contestant, it, it can be very difficult here too. I mean, I know some of the uh, contestants that might be uh, going for a chance to try to try to pick up their run. I don't know if we can do it either, because uh, we have some uh, contestants that doesn't have arms, and probably they may not be ready for it yet. Well, we are not sure what we're going to do here, but if you only stand for BFDI, that does give him a basketball for the game. After new changes are here, they're back on the court to give it another run. Now Moran, this is off to Williams. Porter on the cover, going to wing. Moves back to Bain, back to Moran. 
Memphis Grizzlies are moving the ball around. Anderson, step back, three. A great defense on Litsia, and it's Curry with the assist of the rebound. That's number three. Three in a row so far. Might be turning out big. And Belitsa gets his first bucket. That's Curry with the assist, and he gets a number one. That's three in a row. Morant on Curry. Makes a shuffle back in the bound. Williams for three. That dish is off the corner, and it's Morant with the assist. They're shooting the ball there quickly because Morant's got a, uh, an eye control here and seeking eye-to-eye -eye man here from Defender. But now he has it all in, uh, in range. He can try to like keep an eye on him to try to make him tough. Double man on him. Outside is Porter. Six to shoot. Two-pointer up. That goes in, and that will be a two-pointer for Porter for his first bucket. We're under two minutes left here in the first half of the game. As Morank, this is off to Anderson. Anderson on Belitsa. Blocked the pass. Anderson keeps the ball alive. This one goes back in trouble. Now it's back to Williams. Back to Bain. Bain on Thompson. Morank for three. That good in the triple here. And Bain picks up the assist. There's so many three-pointers shooting everywhere here because of what they have done. Now they, they have some, a lot of um, attentions with their skills. They now need something else to try to like pick them up one, one by one. Three, right over back to Bay Porter. With a two-pointer for four, that's good. Second bucket for Porter. Now this goes for a raise up in between, leading by 11. Moran on Curry. And the foul is picked up on Draymond Green. His first personal first team foul on Golden State. Morant will be heading to the free throw line for the first time in game three. As for right now, it is under a minute left here in the first half of the game. There's so many of our uh, players that haven't made the free throws yet. Because of um, a lot of higher average here for the for the Warriors, they've already got some skills here. They've, by, they've been banging them out. In between the, uh, in the changes here, there's a lot of um, moment that there could be a, a hard impact to try to make them count. Free throw from a red is good. Now the new changes are coming in as Brooks and Adams are checked in for Anderson and Clark. Jackson Jr. moves over to point four. Curry and Porter are checked out as Andrew Wiggins and Jordan Poole are checked in. Morant hits two free throws. The Warriors lead by nine. Poole right over to Thompson. He gets it off to Wiggins. Decide to go for a screen here. Wiggins back to Valitza. Double man covered and Wiggins will have to step back. It's a good decision because uh, if the man is on him, you're not going to want to find a man opening with a shot. That could be a very tough one to go in between contact. Nice D for Thompson, and gives it a go here as Jackson Jr. makes up the bucket. Now this one extends down by seven. Poole finds Green outside from on Jr. Jackson Jr. Wiggins picks it up front. Now goes right over to Belitza. Fade off. Green. Great feed by Belitza. It's Green with the first bucket of the night. He is delivering up here. He wants to give out of all the other players to give it a chance. They haven't scored one here yet. Morant over Belitza. The rebound big back. And it will not count. That ends the first half here as Golden State Warriors lead it up for another game. 31-22. Let's catch you down to halftime show. But first, Ali will be will be reporting here for the post game when we come back. Now, halftime show is on. Stick around for the third quarter to start. Bunch of plays into between a drive out here. Time for the recap of the Warriors and Grizzlies of game three.
first half is concluded with the status. That is it for right now as we send you back to Chase Center to start the third quarter. And if you're just tuning in, we got the third quarter in action here as we are starting things off. Me phone and test tube are along with the reporter of Ali LaForce. And we are calling for is the legendary star of Stephen Curry. He is like a like a roadrunner, and he might be going for another one because uh, because Stephen Curry, he's really young. I'm betting on him because it's that's gonna be a bet here for Stephen Curry if he wants to head back into the NBA finals. I think that's gonna be a great opinion to try to give it off for world and then get right back into the finals here for the first time here in Chase Center. And you notice because of all the other players, they got some uh, a lot of average done. They have it here on the board, and there could be another one that could be going here again and again. Now Thompson will deliver outside. Back to Curry. He gets it off to Wiggins. Step two, and he's fouled by Jackson Jr. That'll be a second personal, first team foul delivered on Memphis for the start of a second half. Andrew Wiggins, a little pump fade here, and with that one, that block could have been a clean kill here for Jaron Jackson Jr. for tonight, but it was late on the whistle. So that point of the time, that did give him a good call. First free throw for Andrew Wiggins is tipped in. The Warriors are hitting another three point pointers and just a between the action here from the three pointers and the free throw lines at for the taking two or one. It might be having a lot of uh, hard opinions in between. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure because there was uh, a bunch of players that haven't got a chance to hit the three pointers. I think there's more players that wants to give him up than Will Chamberlain, the legendary player. Wow, Jarbo, he slams down with a big O moment. And with that, that goes with a big outstanding play on offense for John Moran. Yeah, I know. It's just a, just a legendary to try to stop them by. Poole back to Curry. Curry back to Poole. Six on the shot clock. Wiggins. Step back. That two doesn't bite the dust. Jackson Jr. right back to Moran. Moran over Wiggins. And there is no foul called here on Wiggins. And he went down on the floor by himself. Uh, they're going to have to like try to replay that one again. Because if it was the offensive foul, that could have been a uh, defensive foul that Ben picked up here. A big moment. They could have, it could have been a problem. Thompson misses the three on the other side to start the second half. Warriors still on the lead. Bain on pool. Back to Moran. Curry on him. He moves around. Adams goes with the dunk. And dishing off to John Morant was a crazy look in between. And you can't go wrong with John Moran. He got a great feed off to Steven Adams. That's slam it. And he did. Green. Curry inside, it's denied by Jackson Jr. That's a great D here on defense for Jaron Jackson Jr. Now he got it in before, he's ready. Brooks outside, covered by Thompson. And he stepped out of bounds, that will be a turnover on Memphis. Only 2.42 left to go, and a one more terrific feed off of mobile one block. Jackson Jr. did definitely have it all on the bounds. Just like in the first and second game here, second game was just uh, enough to get right by him. Quick and easy. The Warriors lead by 11. Now he swings it off to Kaminga. Anderson on him, back to Curry. Two pointer up. The scoring drought keeps it alive for Stephen Curry, and he has 16 in the game. He could be going for 20. He might be going for 20, so we have to see how well he can do. Morant, screen on Jackson Jr. Inside, oh boy, this one goes with a heavy jam here. An open middle pointing of the rope gives up 10 points in paint. 
Curry, the shot to Grayson, painted. Only two minutes in the third period. Kaminga outside. Back to Peyton. Moves over to Looney. Looney on Jackson Jr. Six to shoot. They need to make some shots here right at the moment. Curry for two. That goes off target and that puts up on Conchar with the rebound. They're all over the place because what they have done here, moment of that place, it can be very a difficult range. Morant, he does three dunks, and check out that slam cam, look at that, the big two-hand reverse dunk, that was oh my, the oh my moment really does stand out, and that was your slam cam, presented by AT&T 5G, Wiggins back to Kaminga, right over to Wiggins, back to with Kaminga, back to Curry, the Warriors are moving the ball here, making some changes here on offense. Kaminga with the two around him, and he makes a shot. Two-pointer bucket score for Kaminga. And uh, they are up in the lead by nine. Talk about that nighttime there. They might be uh, going for another one. The steal by Kaminga. Two on one fast break, here we go. And Wiggins steps it in with a layup drive and a beautiful feed off to Kaminga. Wiggins gets six points. Now the deep feed by Jackson Jr. Brooks with him. The two goes off target and Jackson Jr. delivers up another rebound. They're all over the place. They're definitely just like, they wanted to keep it going here for the rebound here. They wanted to like give them all they got. Kaminga off to Looney. Looney back to Curry. This is back over to Kaminga. Only under 30 seconds to remain in the third quarter. Kaminga outside. Two point feed, wraps it up. Layup drive and reverse. It's good for Kaminga. Kaminga, talk about that one here. Like a Kyrie Irving reverse layup drive. He does have it all pressured out. He did the same thing just like he did here before like Irving. Two-pointer off, rebounded again. Curry with a great feed and a foul. Oh boy, this one's gonna be another one as Kaminga gets his first personal first team foul on the Golden State. Shooting for Memphis, John Morant. Half a line for two. Now John Morant will head to the free throw line, shooting two, only 2.7 seconds. Second break, second break. two stops. The first free throw is good for Morant. That Tavs definitely does got some great average skills. They have some a lot of more uh, professional athletes. The new changeup is being held here for the Grizzlies as new players are checked in. All the bumper players are checked out. All five players checked in and all five players are checked out. Morant hits two. Now he wants to give it up. They already have court. Almost had it. It was too close for Clay Thompson to make the half court shot. Oh man, that was very tough. Well, he tried it, but it went all too much in and about. That's the end of the third quarter. It's 43-34. Fourth quarter's next after this break. And a moment now to release the State Farm Assist of the game. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And one thing we talked about it here before, I know that was very uh, tricky to make that one uh, a much bigger prize, but this all does turn out for Kaminga for himself, that he have it all down on the board, might be going for a big out, big on attack. He may be ready, and he had it all in down mind. And the fourth quarter is about to start. Glad you have you join us with here today as we approach down with our last period to go here in game three. All filled up and we're ready to go. Clark dishing off the layup drive. This one is cutting down in between big and so on. Jordan Poole in the point guard. And Straymon Green with in the center. In point forward, I'm sorry. Valencia here in the center. And it's Porter here on shooting guard. And Clay Thompson is small four. Three for Thompson. Good off 
outside the range. That is a three consecutive three-pointer streak for Clay Thompson. All perfect for once. He had it all in front. Thompson watching Melton and I believe so rebounding and this one picks up his first rebound for tonight. Game three does stand out the shot. Might be going for it. Now Thompson steps back a bit to make some new changes. Now finds Porter. The Warriors are making some new changes here on offensive sets. Finds Thompson. What a feed by Porter. It's Thompson with 11 points. He did his two-pointer right in the money. The bank cash really knows his answer. Kitchen. Made on Porter. On over Green. And a great D by Draymond Green as Porter gets his rebound. Only 3.35 left to go. It's 48-36. They're looking for a chance to try to beat the Grizzlies out there. Thompson outside. Bounce pass to Green. Pushes up forward. Backing over is Thompson. And Porter open look. The feed out dishes off a number two. It's Green on Green, and Porter gets six points. That pressure was going to be a lot that challenging to try to face them off with the attack. They did have it all. Two-pointer up. That goes in for Brandon Clark. The timeout has been called by Golden State Warriors with three minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Lots of changing out there. They got a great hustle in between the zones. And to make some uh, much more clear here happening here in the wild card in the playoff in play in tournaments, we noticed that the Warriors have definitely beat them for the Grizzlies here on NBA 2K20 as 21 I meant. But this all does turn out to be one better shock of standing performance run in between those two. You talk about that one here for the players. They have it all down in mind that there was going to be a lot much players that they wanted to give it all they've got. In between by the zones, in the attack face about, they got it all in carry. I know that one because if all of the players are doing good for Stephen Curry, Clay Thompson, Draymond Green, well, they definitely have it all. The better outstanding run here, they got it all down on board. New changes here for the Golden State Warriors as Thompson and it's finds Curry. Now he will swing it back. Williams and Clark back out and it's Brooks Jackson Jr. checking back in. Curry outside. Now this is back to Thompson. He wants to make some new changes here on offense. Now finds Porter. Five to shoot. Thompson inside. Dish off feed, what a play. You can count that one in. As Clay Thompson gets 13 points in Porter with the assist. Mellon on Curry. Only under 2.30 left to go. Up with the two. And it's off the bound. Another miss by Memphis. The Memphis are shooting too quick here. Too, too much responding. That could be a very hard one to try to stop in by. And the feed. What a jam out there. Thompson delivers 15 points. And Curry with the assist. Now this one is going to be a change up in the bay. They, they really got a lot of showing off. In between the zones, it can be tough enough to try to think big. We're under two minutes left here in the fourth quarter. Now Bain on pool. And he just off it with a reach on Stephen Curry, his first first team foul on Golden State. Now Belton is checked out as John Morant will be checking in. Adams in the corner on Green. Works on Thompson. Screen on Junior. Jackson up. And a drive in. Scouts for, for Brooks. And now they're picking up back in again. They're not going to have much time here because right now the clock is down. Wiring down the, the percentage of this game. It can be a tough one to try to move them along. Curry inside. Outside. Green for three. Rebounded up by Clark Jackson Jr. Now here's Brooks. Only 1.20 to go here in the fourth quarter. Moran, pick up another layup drive. This was a feed up in trouble. Defensive breakdown on the Warriors. They're never going to lose that one again. 
because that one it can be a very tricky one to try to set them up. Deep three for Curry. How did he get it in there? What a shot! Wow, Stephen Curry delivers up a number three pointer. Now he has 19. Deliver out that one. Deep three ball, you bet. The John Morant drive is good, and this one is cutting it down with 23 points, 16 in the paint. Now Curry dishes off to Porter. Porter gets it to Poole. Now he moves over to Thompson. Thompson right over to Curry. Back to Thompson. Just five to shoot. Moore is picking up a nice steam of ball movement around, and a foul will be called on Jaron Jackson Jr. against Bird. A number team foul releases on Memphis. This was definitely a range out in between the motion for the Warriors. They are all over the place. So they wanted to like get rid of a shot clock violation, and they wanted to do something else here to try to make him count. This first bucket for Porter is good. Our last change up here for the Grizzlies and the Warriors as all the five players come off the court. Jones, Belton, Culver, Anderson, and Tillman are checked in. I'm also concluding the Warriors. Green, Thompson, Poole, and Curry are checked out. Lee, Moody, Toscano, and Kevon Looney checked back in. Porter hits two. And that gives him a extended lead here, 59 to 44. Grizzlies trailing it on the long range. Now he finds Anderson. Order on him. Screen will be taking it over by Culliver. Two point drive off the bound, and a dunk will slam down by Culliver. I haven't seen Culliver taking the dunks out there. It can be very tricky to give up a great run experience. Just 10 seconds left, as Lee will close things off here in Game 3, and that will do for Game 3 of the Playoffs of Western Conference. Your final score for tonight is 57-46. to The Warriors lead the series 2-1. Excellent performance run. What a great job for the Warriors as they picked it up on the run. And a chance now to catch on the sideline. Reporter, Allie LaForce. Allie, take it away. I'm here now with Clay Thompson, and Clay, congratulations on the win. How satisfying is it winning games in front of this devoted crowd? Well, we always want to put on a show for our fans. They deserve it. They show up every single night, and uh, it's just fun to protect home court. It's one of the best places to play in the league, no doubt. Thanks, Clay. Allie, thank, Allie, thank you so much right now. And what a definite game here that you can count on is for those old players that gives them up the toughest run in between those two. Yeah, I bet that one was going to be a very tough on the bound. We also enjoyed that game too. I guess there is a chance for next time in game four if the Warriors can pick it back up here 3-1. And now for a chance now to reveal... The post-game show of Son of Beast for three star players of the game. I'm your host, Mephone, along with Test Tube and Ali LaForce. This has been a presentation of the NBA Western Conference Semifinals. Thank you so much for joining with us, and have a wonderful night here in Golden State of California. Son of Beast, it's all yours. All right there, Mephone, thank you very much here as we close things off here for the three star players of the game. The first star goes out with the third, as this one goes out to Ja Morant. He has 23 points, 3 rebounds, 2 assists, and only his performance run was 28. Three dunks were being performed, because on the court was all in motion. He had one on the attack. Now for number two. Now we switch things up here on the other side. This one was a uh, toppable run in between his owns, and the attackers in as well. Well, this one gives about, we call it for, Clay Thompson. 15 points, 1 rebound, 5 assists, and 27 has performed. What a great run here for Clay Thompson, and he's looking for a big pointer here tonight for the next game in Game 4. And for number 1, Stephen Curry. 19 points, 4 rebounds, 4 assists, and he definitely got a 29 performance run. 
So I guess that does turn out to be the New Balance player of the game for game three. And definitely he did turn out to be just like that. The second one. Turning out to be two streaks here for game one and three. I am Adam, your host here, Son of Beast. I will be seeing you back here for the next game of game three. And then we will head to game four to start things off here where we had it last time of the Bucks and Celtics. So thank you for watching. And if you're tuning in for the next one, we are on our way. Stay tuned for the Stanley Cup playoffs of the second round as we have the matchups of the Hurricanes and Rangers, the Florida uh, Panthers facing against Toronto Maple Leafs, the Canadian matchup of Edmonton Oilers and Flames, and of course, Avalanche of, Avalanche of the Snow of Colorado and Minnesota Wilds. Thank you for joining with us, and until next time, peace out everyone for us a while as the NBA playoffs of 2K Sports Style on 2K22. Thank you, and have a wonderful night. See you all later on the other side.